In the previous video we looked at um, um, containers and uh, frames um, and in this uh, video let's uh, look at uh, um, tabs and accordions. So let's go here, let's, this time we'll make it an editable grid and I'll put um, uh, several fields um, on, on the page and now what I'll do is I'll uh, select um, all of those uh, controls and I'll say insert a uh, tab control and um, uh, I can give um, the names of the tab panes right now or I can add them later on so I'll go here and I'll type in uh, customer billing shipping so I'm going to have three tabs in this tab control and now let me just move the uh, tab pane down to the um, to the field where it um, where it's where it, the position where it starts so um, all of the uh, fields that come after this tab pane shipping will be in that particular tab I'll move billing down over here so you can see now I've got basically a tab uh, and uh, with uh, three panes these fields are going to be in the uh, first pane these fields are going to be in the second pane and these fields are going to be in the third pane and if I do a quick preview I can see there basically we have our um, our layout over there. So now uh, let's go ahead and do a, uh, a live preview. We'll go over there to say uh, uh, Google Chrome and you can see there's uh, record number one, record number two, record number three. So basically we, we've got um, all of our um, um, you know, t uh, 10 rows of data in the grid but being displayed using this, uh, this, uh, this form layout. So now let's go and add some more, uh, some more features. Uh, so let's go back. Uh, let's take, say, for example, these fields over there and uh, well, actually let's make this into, say, a two-column layout even though there's s s very few fields, it doesn't really make sense but just to demonstrate, let's go here and insert a uh, container begin over there and then let's go there and uh, insert another container over here and then let's uh, go there and turn off the break so now if we go ahead and do our live preview we'll see that uh, in the fields in pane 1 are now in two columns of data so there's my two columns of data for pane 1 there pane 2 and there's pane 3 now uh, tabs can be nested so I can go for example to um, this um, uh, shipping uh, pane and insert another tab over there so we'll go over here and we'll say insert and we'll do another tab control and we'll just keep it simple and call this pane 1 and pane 2 and let's move um, pane 2 down a little bit so now we can see that uh, some of the fields will be uh, in pane 1 and some of the fields will be in pane 2 but let's go to this particular tab over there and we'll set the position of the tab buttons to be on the bottom so let's go ahead now and do our live preview so here we have um, pane, pane 1, pane 2 and now pane 3 and you can see there's uh, the nested tab over there within those two panes. Um, now um, these are all basically what's called the, the tab um, style but there's also another style called the accordion style. So I can simply go back to say this first tab over there and change its type from tab to accordion and now let's go ahead and do a live, uh, a live preview. So you can see now there's the, um, uh, we now have an accordion style, so there's customer band, the billing band, and the shipping band, and then within the shipping band basically we have the tabs. So um, uh, the point here is that uh, tabs and accordions can be nested uh, infinitely, and uh, you've got, this gives you incredible control over the, uh, the layout of your, your forms.